Again, and welcome to episode one of a new series of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Let's jump into it here, guys. I am so excited. It has been a few months since I've played this game, but it is back by popular demand, and we are about to jump into the story of Robin Hood. At least, sort of, inspired by Robin Hood. All right, guys, let's just get into this. I am so excited. It's been, uh, we're going to be playing Batanians, obviously, because of course Robin Hood to be Batanians is the closest to British as you can get. They like their bows. And they, they run around the forest. It just makes sense, right? Anyway, I'm so excited. I haven't played this game, I think, a lot, at least, in, since the uh, 1.6 update. So now it's actually just jumped into the 1.7 update, and they have fixed a lot of problems and added a lot of features to the games. Uh, since I've actually done a Let's Play, they have com completely uh, rehauled, done a whole remake of the... Uh, smithing system which is absolutely epic and uh, now they've actually fixed a lot of the problems that were with sieging so hopefully we're gonna be able to see a lot of that all right let's create robin here i'm not gonna be uh going too too hard on this let's just do uh this a few times we're definitely gonna want to give him like a mustache or something here's there's something pretty good he's got himself a mustache i don't know if i love the hair though i like your green eyes your mustache is okay, or the rest of your look is fine. In fact, I think that's very Robin Hood-esque, isn't it? Kind of like the 1960s version of Robin Hood. And let's give him a, some, a little bit of a different hair. I could like go like, nah, that's more like Fire Tuck, isn't it? Let's, let's give him something a little bit cooler. You know what? Uh, a little bit more suave. Like, he's, he's Robin Hood, guys. He's a little bit suave. You know what? That's interesting. Mm, yeah, you know what? I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit uh, modern looking. Still got his uh, handlebar mustache. Let's make him a little bit more blonde. Kind of blonde like that. There is a good spot. All right, backstory. I've already got himself all laid out. Obviously, we are going to be going a little bit roguey, a little bit uh, bow heavy. Where's the words I'm looking at? All right, the first thing I want to do is bards. This makes a lot of sense. My father was a bard drifting from the Chieftain's Hall to the Chieftain's Hall, making his living singing songs of praise. Either way, so he's going to be a lot of charm and a lot of roguery because I think, you know, he's Robin Hood, guys. Charming and roguery. He's from bards. Um, what were you noted for as a child? You were noted for uh, attention to details, possibly. Yes, attention to details. That's going to give us some uh, athletics and some bow. Makes sense. He's a pretty smart lad when he gets them later on in years. And he's going to be running around the forest and with his bow. Makes sense. Next one is going to be hunting small game. Again, getting that bow up. And this time I get a little tactics out, tactics out of it, which are fine. I'm mostly looking for that bow skill, though. Um, in my youth, I rode with the scouts. Obviously, right? Now he's good on with horses and even better with bows. We are going to make him a master with that bow, guys. Obviously, he's Robin Hood, right? I'm actually uh, sad that there couldn't be like a uh, like archery competition or something that we could do. We can, we're obviously going to be in tournaments because, you know, it's Robin Hood. He wins tournaments. But if there was like a bow tournament, that would be absolutely sick. All right. What was my last thing that I did as a young adult? Obviously famous escapade in town. He's Robin Hood. He's roguey. He's an athletic. Makes perfect sense. All right. So here is going to be our build three to bow. One to horse, two to athletics, one to tactics, two to roguery, because we're going to try and do a lot of roguery in this series, and one to charm. We're going to have to get that charm up fast. Makes a lot of sense. And let's start Robin. I mean, we could start at 30 to have a little bit more points, but I kind of want to start light. Start early at a 20, 20 years old, and we'll work our way up from there. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's do it. Heading into the next thing, obviously, making our banner. Obviously, we're going something with bows. Uh, let's do this one. Let's make you there, and there we go. Kind of greeny, browny, and with the white. I don't want to make him green because we are going to be running around playing near Batania, so I don't want to get them too, too mixed up. All right, and we're, our family name is going to be, instead of just the standard hood, I'm going to go for the old English version of hood. I think that's kind of cool. All right, you prepare to set off your grand adventure. Let's give ourselves a name. We are going to be Robin with a Y, because that would be how they would have spelt it back then. And hit next. Let's get ourselves back to Bannerlord. I don't particularly want my clan members to die that often, so I'm going to drop at all. You know what? No, I don't want my clan members to die at all. <laughs> 
It's a bit unrealistic, but uh, I don't want my clan members to die. And because we are going to be trying to find all of his people, you know, Friar Tuck and uh, Alan Aldul, Maid Mary and all that jazz. OK, here we are. We start right near Maranov here. All right. Before we jump into it here, guys, I want to do a little bit of role playing. Tell you how I think this is all going to go down. Now, unfortunately, I could not get player creation to work, which is a mod that allows you uh, detailed player creation, detailed character creation, detailed character creation, which allows you to change the names of uh, heroes and towns. And I think in the actual game could not get that to work. So we're going to have to just role play who some of the Robin Hood characters in the world are. So who do we have to uh, think about? We got to think about his crew. So obviously, one of the first things I want to do as a tier one and tier two is build out uh, Robin's clan with famous people. So I'm thinking Little John. I'm thinking Will Scarlet, Fire Tuck and maybe Alan Aldale. Those are probably the four big guys. And then obviously Maid Marian on the note of Maid Marian and all the other big characters. What I'm thinking is, um, well, we're, I guess we're starting with uh, the Sheriff from Nottingham. Sheriff of Nottingham, I'm going to have as a Magnus, who is actually the son of Caladog, who I'm going to call our King Richard. Caladog is the big king roaming around battling, and his son, Magnus, is going to be, I'm going to role play him as our childhood rival. So we were obviously a little bit lowborn. Magnus is highborn. And for some reason, Magnus, maybe some childhood like brawl or fight, he's decided to spread the rumor that Robin is a bandit, is a villain and is not to be trusted and has spread the rule and the law across the land that we are not to that none of the people of Batania are to allow us to recruit any of their villagers. So we are not allowed to recruit villagers in Batania. The only people we are allowed to recruit are bandits. So we are going to try and uh, one of the storylines is going to be Robin is going to be collecting bandits. So Magnus has spread that rumor throughout all of Batania and all the sur surrounding areas. So we cannot recruit people. So we have to recruit bandits. Uh, Caladog, for some reason, has just listened to that. We're going to have to convince him that we are good later on. And uh, I was considering having Corinne be our maid Marion, but she is close fisted and cruel. And I almost always go for Corinne because she's sick and her sister possibly could be maid Marion later on, depending on how long we go. I'm not too sure uh, what her reputation is going to be. We'll see. We might have to find our Maid Marian as we go, but I wouldn't mind Maid Marian being a good person. OK, so rules of the playthrough. So for our first stage of this playthrough, I'm only allowed to recruit bandits, as I said. Um, we want to find our companions as soon as possible. I know we can only have one or two. I want to win tournaments because we're Robin Hood guys. We got to obviously got to be one winning tournaments. Um, my goals for the initial few tiers are to destroy bandit camps and to destroy bandits in town, to kill bandits in towns. Those are my big goals. So let's get to it. First thing we got to do is get a little bit of money and uh, possibly get ourselves some uh, looters and stuff. Oh, there's a big pack of looters right there. OK, so um, well, actually, the first thing we want to do is get our character going. So we got three points to send out and one attribute point. We already have a skill in bow. So decrease your bow accuracy loss during movement by 30 or increases the headshot damage by 30. Um, I'm going to be moving a lot, so I'm going to choose this guy. And now I've got three points to spread about. Well, the first thing I'm going to throw it into is I'm going to throw two into smithing because that's going to be how I'm going to make my initial money. And I think I'm going to throw one into one handed. Or do I want to throw into two handed? Ooh, there's a good question. I don't know if I'm going to use one handed or two handed right off the bat. I'm probably going to use two handed so that I can have a bow and two quivers. I think that makes a lot of sense. So let's actually throw all three into smithing and let's throw one point into. Let's get our bow up right away. Level five. We'll get both these level five. I'll probably get vigor up later, but that's a good spot to throw everything in right away. OK, here we are. Let's head into the town and actually let's go to the tavern district to see who's here. we got a Rihanna. The leopard is here. What do you look like? You're a 22 year old rogue. You are generous and daring. Ooh. You know what? Let's gender swap this a little bit. I think Rihanna here, who's actually pretty sick and that that high roguery. Hmm, I want to get somebody almost right away. 
I might come back to her. She would be a fairly decent Will Scarlet or Alan Aldale, but um, seeing as we're going to be high road, we might not need her to be high road. We might probably want someone with a different set of skills. All right, let's head to trade. I'm assuming there's going to be a few things here I can sell off just to get a little bit of money. First off, let's take a look and see if they have any two-handed blunt. I highly doubt they do. They have the wooden hammer, which is a one-handed blunt. Blacksmith hammer is one-handed. Sledgehammer is a two-handed blunt, but it's $4,000. I want to get a two-handed blunt as soon as possible, but I think I'm just going to stick with what I have for right now. What I am considering, though, is an extra set of arrows. Uh, I have $1,000. I could get some lowland arrows or just to get myself something, or I could just get another set of arrows. I think I'm just going to buy another set of arrows because uh, initially... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I just want one. There we go. And say yes. Let's go to our items and throw those down like this. Initially, I'm going to want to be uh, just hunting some looters and uh, roaming around in the back in the back, distancing myself from them so that I can, uh, you know, snipe them from the back. All right, let's uh, let's find an actual set of looters that I can actually fight because I don't think I can take on 12. Let's try to avoid these guys. We're faster than them at the beginning here. These are all giant packs of looters here. Find ourselves a little bit of a uh, smaller pack if we can. And let's actually head out towards Swenrin to get ourselves uh, a horse of some kind. Because one of the best ways to make money original, uh, initially is to take logs from Senanon over to Maranoth. And we might get that going sooner rather than later. But I'm wanting to find some looter packs and I'm not seeing them. All right, buying products. What do you guys got? They've got Sumter Horses for 60 bucks. That's not a bad price. I'll grab both of those. And I'll grab one grain just so that we have something to eat here. It's not bad. Thank you very much. So here I am not allowed to recruit troops at all. I am considering possibly being able to recruit the, uh, the noble troops. What am I trying to find there? They're the, the noble bowmen there. Because I would make sense for Robin to be uh, able to like charm some nobles into joining his cause a little bit. Maybe not a massive amount of them, but a few of them. I'm trying to find a looter group of something like, you know, under eight. Ten's a little bit, uh, oh, they took him out there. Not seeing anybody yet. Might have to uh, just uh, do a little bit of roaming around, doing some selling here and going from there. We have $700, so why don't we do an initial trade here to grab ourselves a bit of hardwood. Hardwood is always cheap as heck here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab up to 500, I think. Sure, that's going to be us over, over capacitated, over encumbered. There's the word. And then I'm going to head directly into the smithy, actually. And let's get our friend here upgraded a little bit. All right. You ready, Robin? Go, dude, go. And immediately 13 bucks. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trade all this charcoal away. It sells for four bucks, so we're able to get 60 bucks back. Not a huge amount, but, you know, something. There we go. And um, are we still over encumbered? No, we are under encumbered, so we should be able to take that over here. So we're going to continue on searching, trying to find ourselves some looters to fight. Where are all the looters? Where are you guys? Well, I guess we're just heading to Maranoth. Um, hey, Caladog's here. All right, who do we have here, by the way? We've got a gang leader here in Harry Brown, so we're going to want to get rid of you. We got another one in Yadvin the Viper. And so these two uh, gang leaders, I'm going to want to kill. I want to I want to go through the entire country of uh, Batania and get rid of all the gang leaders because... Um, what's his face? Uh, Magnus, I, I, I see him as kind of like running the city, running the country while his dad's out there raging war. And he's allowed all these gang leaders to get a foothold. And I think that's terrible. I think it's great. It's horrible. We got to kill them all. That's the goal. All right. Uh, let's trade off some of this uh, lumber. It sells for 21 bucks. We're able to get huge amount of money back. We paid 50 bucks. So not a huge amount, but we get, got a little bit of money back. Actually, that's not true because we uh, spent some money on the horses. So we did make a decent amount of money and got seven points in trade as well. Absolutely beautiful. What kind of thing do you want? Escort caravan? Can't do that yet. Don't have anybody in my crew. Let's go find somebody to come crew us. 19, way too big. Extortion from uh, looters, can't do anything about that. Give me a smaller loot pile. Good God. 
Uh, nine. I could do nine. You know what? Let's 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 uh let's let's be daring. We're gonna take on these nine guys. Here we go. All right, Robin versus nine. Fight me if you dare. I do dare, my friend. I do dare. Attack. All right. Here is my strategy. <laughs> 54 uh, bolts. Let's get ourselves some, uh, until, until we get better with our bow, kinda gotta play it safe here. So I'm just going to continue. Woo, we're so bad. Uh, we're just gonna snipe right from the center here. Headshot, nice. Getting the uh, guy in the front and then uh, going on from there. I'm gonna get these guys out of here. I think I killed all of them, unfortunately. Oh, God. And here's why you need two stacks of arrows, guys. I went from 54 arrows down to 20. Took me forever, but I got them all. Unfortunately, I killed every single last one of them. <laughs> Here is why you want yourself a blunt weapon. Did you guys give me a blunt weapon? A one-handed mace? I mean, one-handed, one-handed. Let's use this guy instead of the Norse guy here. That at least will give us something blunt, which means we'll be able to knock these guys out and uh, take them next time. They also gave me a couple things to smell down. So let's get ourselves back over to where the wood is cheap. Whoa, right away from the <laughs> 20 freaking looters. Good God. Um, again, if they were like under five or something like that, we're at 50% uh, damage here for 59. So I don't really want to be fighting anything under over eight or nine. Those rocks hurt when you don't have any armor, guys. They hurt a lot. So back to Senanon. We also didn't check. Uh, you have a thing. We didn't check the tavern district, but nobody's here. Oh, well. All right, so heading into trade, let's get rid of everything here, unless there's something I want. Oh, sure, I mean, it's gonna do absolutely nothing, but at least it's something, right? $42, whew! High rollers, guys, high rollers. All right, let's wait a little while, get our uh, health back up, and uh, do a little bit of smithing here. Let's see how far we can go. Is that Corinne right there? I don't know. It is Corinne. hi, Corinne. All right, and 75 hit points, that's fine. Did we get ourselves fully recovered? No, we are not fully recovered. So let's just wait till after the, after midnight, after midday here. And that should be enough. Heading into the smithy. Yeah, we are back up to where we need to be. Let's refine twice. I should buy a little bit of lumber here. We got some uh, sacks here as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Just gonna give us something to actually smelt with, which is fantastic. Um, we can refine one more time. I think we probably want to go and buy a little bit of lumber here before we jump any farther, though. Let's just get, say, 20 lumber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm exceeding. I know, I know, I know. Let's actually just continue waiting, get ourselves up to like 82, 83. I know we had still a little bit of stamina left, but now we're back almost up to full. And one, two, three, four, maybe? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're up to 16, so we still have a little bit of ways to go. Let's get those two up there. And uh, let's see if there's any orders that we can actually complete here. I don't think we have a lot that we can do. Yeah, we don't have the ability to get either of these done, unfortunately. So if you guys don't know the new smithing way, we can actually do some orders. And orders are a pretty good way to uh, get some money and some... Experience, there's the word I'm looking for. Unfortunately, they both want two-handed maces. You guys, you and me both, you and me both. I want that as well, but we don't have the ability to do that, unfortunately. So let's just go to free build and see what we can make. Um, we might be able to make some two-handed swords. Let's see. Looks like it. And I think the best one, can we even make this right now? We can make one. I think the best one to do is usually do the one-handed swords, but get the two-handed... Uh, Words, 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 handle. But let's see what this will do for us. We can only do one of them, but it should get us a decent amount of XP and we may even be able to sell it for a decent chunk. We were not skilled enough for this at all, but we got ourselves the fork head. Ooh, that I believe would be not javelin, would it? No, not javelin. The fork head would be spears, pikes. There we go. Yep, fork head. So if I go to all, the only one that I don't have access to are the rods, unfortunately, but that's fine. 
we have no stamina anyway. Let's uh, see how much that thing was made. Whew! 654 buckaroos. Heck yeah. Um, no, I don't actually want it as my melee because I want to have something blunt. But that may be able to get us a better bow. Let's see what we got for bows here. Uh, they got a short bow for 3,000. I don't particularly want to go for a long bow or a ranger bow. So I think I'm going to hold out here. Ranger bow a lot better. Weapon, accuracy damage. That yeah, might be worthwhile. It cost us 700 bucks. Cool, let's do it. We got ourselves a slight upgrade, which is awesome. Uh, I just made a terrible mistake, guys. I can't use this on horseback. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's the worst. All right, fine. Well, you make mistakes, I guess. Oh, man, what a stupid move on my part. All right, well, let's buy a little bit more hardwood. So that I just want to get uh, Robin here up in uh, smithing. So let's wait a little while here. Get ourselves fully healed. Smelt those guys down. Hopefully we'll get up to level 25 in smithing. And then we'll do a little bit more roving trying to get our team up. All right, 95 percent. Let's enter the smithy. We are almost fully recovered. And level 20, level 21, we gained a level, but not enough. All right, well, let's trade away a few of these charcoals because I don't need that many. Get 40 bucks back. Uh, trade, I have the ranger bow here. I could just step off my horse to use it. Or I could just buy back one of these and then sell it back. Uh, we lost a little bit of money in that exchange. But at least I get myself a bow back. Um, do, um, I am using that bow, right? Sorry. Yes, I am. Cool. All right. Let's go see if we can actually get ourselves some looters. That pack was a little bit too big. Let's go see if we can find somebody else. And maybe we'll head up to some other towns here to see if there's anybody else we're going to want to recruit. Come on, looter piles. Uh, 16 too big. Uh, 19 too big. What is with these giant looter packs? We're all little guys. Usually you see like a million itty bitty looter packs running all over the place, but I am not seeing. Uh, that's nine. I could do another nine. Ah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. Fight me if you dare. Time to die, my friend. Time to die. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, that's another uh, update. They do a lot better of a job of when you are near a certain location, actually loading in the spot. Where you are, so I was near this town and the actual town came in, and if I was on the other side of the town, I should have loaded in on that other side of the town, which is very useful for things like bridges and whatnot. You'll now actually load in in the correct location, usually of where that bridge is, which means you can make some strategic movements on the map. Uh, my strategic movement would have been this time to have gotten ourselves out of this town because this is going to make fighting on horseback an absolute idiocy of a way. All right, let's try and get some range shots in. You get a little bit better XP if you get from a distance. And let the race commence. Oh, shoot. Ah, stuck on a thing. No, no. Go, dude, go. I might die here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I got myself stuck. I should have just got off my horse. Oh no. Well, luckily we have nothing. So we're just going to roam around with these guys for a little while. Oh, gotta love that mistake. Oh God. Uh, 300. No, no, I don't. I don't want to get rid of my $300. That's all of it. That's all of my money. Okay. Let me go, dude. Last time I was caught when I was playing a little bit uh, yesterday, they held on to me for like five days. It was the stupidest thing. And they didn't give me any uh, opportunity to leave, which is so very odd. Come on, um, escape. There we go. All right, let's go over here. Run away. We are down to 20, 20 health points. All right, let's get ourselves over here to Pencanic. Ah! People everywhere. Uh, we got ourselves a gang leader. We got ourselves a gang leader. So there's two gang leaders in this town as well. We're going to get them, guys. We are going to get them. 
They have uh, no royals here. Do they have anybody in the tavern district? They have Ben Scythe the Wanderer. What do you look like? You are a daring, calculating scout. You're only 21 years of age. Could be an interesting person to grab as either Will Scarlet or Alan Aldale. Not a terrible scout, not a terrible scout. What we could do is actually find, like, go through the list of wanderers and find the best people to go and try and get, which would not be a terrible way of doing it as well. If we did uh, something along the lines of wanderers, not noble, I don't care about this, and then just try to find somebody who is best, like such as uh, Garen here, who's also pretty good. But actually, you know, 60 isn't terrible for scouting. And we do need somebody. Considering it, considering it, considering it, how much would you cost me? Let's chat with her. Let's go talk with Ben Scythe. Hello, stranger peace to you. My name is Robin. Tell me about yourself. Uh, you were a cowherd. Makes sense for an Alan L. Dale. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, I did not know what to do with his body. I buried it up in the hills and told my parents. For fear of bloodshed, they told me to leave, to find my way in the world. It sounds as though you had no choice. I'm not a warrior, not yet, but I could be one. A good with a sling and a knife, and I run fast. I can bear hardship. Okay, cool. I could, I would like to use you in my company. I cannot afford that right now. But she costs under 600 bucks, so we should be able to get that relatively quickly. All right, back to town. Let's, uh, do I have anything to trade? I don't think so. No, I've got absolutely nothing to trade. Uh, do I have anything in my inventory? I've got one piece of hardwood. And hardwood is not a lot of money. Um, I think I'm just going to have to wait it out here for a little bit and then uh, go see if we can uh, fight some smaller groups of looters. Okay, we are up to 70 health. Now, there is so many forest bandits around here, which I want to fight. I want to get on the team because they are going to be my main guys, but they are way too strong for me right now. There is obviously a forest bandit hideout somewhere and uh, woo, run, dude. We're going to have to take out that forest bandit hideout at some point. Oh, shoot. Uh, maybe we can work something out. How much money will you guys take? Auto offer 160 bucks. I don't want to uh, be jailified from you guys right now, and I'm not strong enough to fight those forest bandits. It's nice to see that we have that many around that we can actually, uh, you know, go around and take them out later. We got a nine there. Are you an eight? Let's go try and get this eight pack up here. We're going to be at almost 80 health when we get there. And uh, whoop, ah, sea raiders. No. Um, well. Let's try it. This is going to suck. Unfortunately, Sea Raiders have some distance shots, so we're going to have to be very, 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 very careful here. We have to keep our distance and uh, snipe them from a distance. And probably play the game of uh, constant reload, constant reload here. But I mean, hey, if we can get a few of these uh, Sea Raiders. Yeah, they're going to start firing uh, projectiles at us, too. Hopefully they'll be able to get rid of those sooner rather than later without hurting us. Ah, so close. They all have uh, two or three of those, so try to get them to uh, launch them away without hitting us is going to be very important here. That does mean uh, continue moving here. Yeah, I don't care about rocks, but uh, those spears, throwing spears, are going to do a lot of damage if they hit. All right, guys, come on. Headshot. Heck yeah. Depending on actually how this is going to work, I may be able to get these guys done right away. They do still have some throwing spears, so we have to be very careful. Although they actually seem like they might be all out now. Whoop. They don't run. They don't throw rocks either. There's one. Hey, and he went down. Lovely. That means we're going to be able to get at least one person hired up here. Stop throwing frickin rocks at me, bro. All right, well, that's it for arrows for this round. Unfortunately, these uh, Sea Raiders, their shields are doing a very good job of stopping me. But I got the majority of the looters done, so we're going to throw a quick retreat in here. And uh, we're just going to jump right back into it. We have uh, two leaders and the th two looters and the three Raiders left. We're still doing OK. Oh, our health, max health is not great, actually. So we really are hoping here that we're not going to get hit by any of these uh, projectiles here. Oh, heck yeah. Big distance hit there. 
And yeah, unfortunately, there we go. We're just gonna have to hope against hope that they're gonna fail epically at all they're throwing. Cause they're just gonna continue to, whoa, what a shot. That sucks. <laughs> That's exactly what I was not hoping for. All right, I'm down. All right. And we didn't even get any of the looters. Oh man, that sucks. And the Sea Raiders have taken me. Well, not a great start, but now it's happening. All right, let me go. All right, I found a way to escape. Let's get out of here, Robin. Not having fun in your banishment, are you, Mr. Robin? Ah, no, do not fight those two. Uh, only 23 health. Oh, wait, what are you? How, how big of that was that party? At 24, I should be able... That was not a lot of health, but... Oh, man. Okay, no, not you. Stupid Sea Raiders. They're actually going to be probably my my uh, main troops in the future because they have the shields, and I'm going to need a shield wall. Shield wall. So we're hope, probably going to be using the uh, forest bandits as our archers and then the uh, sea traders or sea raiders as our melee probably and then if we get any of the uh you know looter what's the words i'm looking for the mountain bandits that have the mounted troops i think so all right let's check the uh we got someone called the silent here no 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 i want to see what you look like Woo! 26 years old savo the silent who is not a bad leader not bad at athletics, not bad at tactics. You are generous, daring, and merciful. Um, not the biggest guy in the world. I'm not too sure if he actually fits any of the uh, requirements, so I'm probably gonna leave Mr. Silent there be. All right, um, I have nothing to trade. We just have to wait here to heal up a little bit. All right, we're closing in on 80% here, so let's leave the town and see if we can find a little bit of a uh, more palatable fight here. Get out of here, dude. Ah! Um, but I don't want both of you at the same time. Let's roam away. Ah, three, three, three. You know what, 11, I'm down for this fight. You guys are just looters. Um, maybe we can work something out. Nope. No, 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 nope. Cancel. We're going to fight you guys. Um, I was hoping to, uh, get my character up. Oh, I can. Perfect. Cause I have horseback and some bow stuff to get in here. I think, oh, maybe not actually. Maybe I don't actually have any skill points, but I have a bunch of skill points to throw in here. So let's get myself increased maneuverability. Let's throw one point into you and then one point into bow. Let's put one point into two handed and one point into riding. Perfect. All right. Yeah, our bow is not quite there yet, but it's getting better. We should be able to take these guys on fairly easily. Um, apparently, we're, we're supposed to be in a forest, but apparently we're just out here on the plains. All right, guys, come get some. Let's see if we can get some distant shots in here. Get a lot more XP if you can hit from this distance. Apparently, I'm not hitting anybody. There we go. And we're running. We're running. Piss off, bros. Everybody die. And um, I'm going to try and see if I can get them to run. They actually these looters originally, they don't uh, they don't run as much anymore. Usually you can kill half of them and the rest will like bail. But I haven't been able to get them to do that lately. We'll see. I do have myself my uh, blunt weapon to try and get these guys. Can you hit these guys, Robin? Good God, dude, what are you doing? There you go, my friend. There you go. There's one down. Run away, guys. Luckily, most of these guys are not uh, firing projectiles. It's just the one guy in the back there. Oh, and he says that and then they start firing more. Ow, jerks. Those rocks, uh, they pile up. Let's try and get this guy in the hood out here. There he goes. One more done. Let's get this guy in our gray shirt here. Probably takes one more hit. Come on, dude. There you go. See if we can get two or three of these guys down before they hopefully start running. All right, he should only take one more if I can hit him. Dude. Get him, Robin. Okay. Are you do you need to be in the front or the back of him? What's happening here? There you go. Oh, see, nobody's still running away. And now you're going to hide behind your friend, are you? 
can't hide forever, my friend. And last one. There he goes. No, they're still not retreating. Oh, right past them. I only got 24 uh, left here, guys. Come on. Everybody fall down. All right. One more for this guy. Once I get them down to three or four, I may actually just try to get them with my... Uh... Still, they're still not retreating. 80 to the chest. 39. Maybe if I just wound them all. And then run in there with my... Uh... Hammer. Come on. Okay, now they're taking they're doing a little too much damage to me. Dude, hit them at least. Okay. There goes one. Okay, you know what? Last guy, you're at the very least you're coming with me, dude. Thank you. Good God, all of that and we only got one of those guys. Oh, that's the worst. Well, we better have got a bunch of gear from these guys. Our first looter prisoner. Good God, taking forever, but we got there. Um, we got some iron out of it. We got swing damage. It's still only one handed, so it's no better. We've actually finally got ourselves something for our sleeves. A little bit something better for our head. And I think that's basically it. Everything else is sellable and smithable. So let's get ourselves up there to sell into smith. We're only at 30% uh, health, so I don't want to do too, too much up here. Um, how much is your lumber here? It's five bucks. That's enough for me to grab a bit of that. Thank you. You wouldn't happen to have any. No, they don't have any of the uh, royal troops. There's, there's the Royal's not quite the right word. I remember exactly the word I'm looking for here, but it's not Royal. All right, let's head to the Smithy. We probably have ourselves our full stack here. Um, let's do enough there to smelt those two. That's up to 22 points. We're so close. Let's see if we can forge anything here. Orders. Um, we can do the dagger. Um, doesn't seem like we're quite where they want us to be. Let's go to the unlock all here and see if we can get these guys a little bit better. Uh, that's changing that up to 20. There we go. Now we just need to get the swing damage, which I'm not too sure. Ooh, actually, this bumps it up a little bit. Can I get the swing damage up at all? Yes, right there. Oh, are we good to go? I don't have all the items. Never mind, can't do it. <laughs> well, I guess we're just gonna have to uh, refine. 23 it is, sure. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get a point in here. Bo, all right. 10% um, of the enemy's armor. Uh, could the troops also ignore armor or decrease the penalty of movement speed for reloading by 50%. Maybe use that one, I think, actually. Not a terrible one to have. All right, um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait here for a little while. I could just grab some stuff to smell down. They might have, well, actually, you know what? We got 500 bucks. That's somebody that wants to come join us. I'm gonna wait until the very last second to grab that guy. That way we're not paying him or feeding him until we need to. I guess we're already feeding him, but we're not paying him anything. You can see our daily gold change there is zero. All right, that's 54%. Uh, Let's do a little bit of a trade and see if they have anything I wanna buy. The one thing that are nice to grab from Batania are the Highland Daggers, I believe. Let's grab one of you. It's either the Highland or the Tribesmen. I think it's the Highland. Let's just grab the one for now. Oh, actually, uh, we'll grab a couple hardwood as well. Five isn't a terrible price. So we'll grab that as well. Let's enter back in the smithy. Do a little bit of refining. And yes, these guys smelt down into three into one. So that's not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's probably enough for us to do at least one build here. Level 24 and orders. Can I do either of these? I can do this bad boy. Got me 90 bucks and enough to, uh, points to get myself up to level 25, which is absolutely glorious. And looks like I can make one more. So let's just do it just for the XP. Not terrible. Probably wasn't a uh, fantastic weapon. But uh, is what it is. Got rid of it. Oh, actually. Yeah, there you go. 115 bucks, 600 dollars. B-E-A, beautiful. And we have gotten ourselves up to the next skill. I want to be able to do efficient charcoal, please. 
And let's wait for just a little while longer, get myself up to like maybe 70% here, and then we're gonna run around trying to improve and increase the size of our troops. I think that is a noble, a noble thing to do. And maybe go back down to Pancon. I can see if that person that we were looking at is still there. Ah, ah, a six crew, a six crew, beautiful. Um, I'm actually going to leave my one guy out because I don't want him to die from these guys. Let's just get these guys straight up. Back in a field. Are we near the castle at the very least? Is it going to show it? Yeah, that the new uh, thing where it's supposed to like load in the surrounding environment. It's not working the way I thought it would, but we'll see. We'll see if it functions or not. Yeah, XP. Did I get riding points for that? I mean, I wasn't even moving. <laughs> Interesting how they start farther away sometimes, but then other times they come in closer. All right, guys, piss off. Nice. There we go. Well, got two of them. So that's a little bit better than nothing. Uh, was it just the two? Just the two. It did take a decent amount of our hit points to grab that, but at the very least, we might be able to get ourselves a little bit of a crew. <laughs> We're gonna head straight back into town and heal up a little bit because uh, those guys pack a wallop when you don't have any gear. I think actually one of the main things I'm gonna want to do here is just gear up a little bit because this is the worst. Uh, 33 bucks. Got a couple things to uh, smelt down here, so let's just make sure we have enough hardwood to even do even a little bit of smelting. Um, let's also lock in this food here. And yes, we do need some hardwood. Um, you, you have hardwood, don't you? How do you have no hardwood, dude? What the actual heck? Well, let's uh, enter the smithy and see if there's anything I can smelt at the very least. Oh, okay, there we go. So I can smelt everything. Gets me a little bit of hardwood. And uh, can I forge anything with this? Taking a look at my orders here. Got you and right, 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 right. We were uh, able to get this to work, I think. Just barely. Uh, was it swing damage? So there, there we go. And we cannot make this work. But I can make that work. But can I make it work this way? I can forge. And I can't forge you again. <laughs> oh, I don't need I need the one more of those. All right. With that done is there. We can't do anything more of those. But let's do a free build of possibly we can do a mace. Can I make a little bit of a better mace than what I have on hand? Actually, is the question It's going to take three, one and one. Let's see if this is a better mace than what I have on hand. And let's also see. I can't do a two handed mace yet, can I? Where's the two-handed mace? Nah, I still don't have any of the heads. But let's see if this mace is better than what I have on hand. Uh, it is tier two swing blunt. Oh, heck yeah. 49 versus what I have on hand. That's gonna be so, so, so much better. B-E-A-U-T-Full. All right, um, from that, let's uh, wait here for a little while, get our health back up. We might even be able to get all of our recruits there actually recruitable if we wait here long enough. All right, that's back up to 60 damage. I see that team of six there. And how many of these guys want to join me? All four of them want in all three of them. Sorry. So now we're a team of four. Ha <laughs> ha a whole bandit team, which we are not real bandits. We are uh, we're uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> We're like bandit rehab. We grab the bandits and we uh, make them into better people. Heck no, not a 20. Um, 11 is almost doable. 16 is not. Apparently, I'm just barely faster than these guys. I'd love to find a little bit of an easy. No, not the forest bandits. Can't deal with that. Those guys would shred me up unless they're fighting. No, they did not fight the forest, uh, the villagers there. If they were fighting the villagers there, I might have been uh, willing to give it a shot. Um, cavalry base. Let's get ourselves some more horses here. The Sumter horses are always cheap. Uh, let's make sure nothing else. I'm going to keep that to do. We we'll have enough food to feed everybody. One in one. Your guys' grain is not cheap. Oh, no, actually, never mind. It's three bucks. Heck yeah. Let's grab four grain. That should be enough to uh, feed us for a little bit. 
I don't need your mules. I'm going to take your guys' sumpters, though, and that will give us a little bit more area to uh, drag some things around in. All right. Um, with the, On that note, actually, maybe we'll uh, see if there's anybody here that wants to abandon base near here. Nope, not ready for that yet. You guys don't have what I'm looking for. Uh, I'll grab this from here. That's fine. Because now we have enough room for a huge amount of lumber. Beautiful. Thank you very much, my friend. That's 38 lumber. We can make a decent chunk of change with that, actually. Let's uh, head over to Senanon here. You guys are a team of eight. Was not expecting it to be so so much of a struggle to find uh, looters for us to fight. A team of 12. No, I'm not going to go for that. Team of 10, a team for 13. OK, well, vaguely being surrounded. Team of 10, I'm a little bit more willing to go for. You know what? Let's do it. Team of 10, fight me if you dare. Let's do it. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. So you guys, I'm actually going to say everybody attack. And then I'm just going to try and drag them apart a little bit here. Do a little bit of damage and spread spread the love so that ha most of them come after me or part of them come after me. And let's actually cheese the system a little bit here. Uh, they've already killed two of my guys, so that cheesing of the system did not work. Usually my guys are able to swarm and kill one or two of them first. Well, dude, let's do it, bro. <laughs> hold out, hold out hope, dude. Hold out hope. Here, well, hopefully we'll be able to recuperate our uh, troops here. That's the hope. Might not be a real thing. Wow, we are doing much better damage wise. These guys are unless I'm just like headshotting all of these guys. I think I was. All right. I'm trying to just like mostly damage them, but not fully damage them so that I can go in there and just hit with my uh, sledge. I think I'm going to lose my guy over there, unfortunately. You guys uh, bailing on me? Oh, shoot. Dude. Hit him. Thank you. Good gosh. See if I can get uh, one of the uh, these guys here with. Uh... Yes. Yes. <laughs> B.E.A. Beautiful. All right. These guys are a bit strong, but ah, no. Thank you. All right. You know what? No, we're uh, we're bowing these guys. Still super weak that I'm being taken out by frickin' looters. But at the very least, we got a few more people to recruit for us. Come on, dude. You're supposed to be a uh, sniper with this bow. All right, let's weaken these guys up just a little bit more. Maybe this guy that's throwing the rock here can take one. There we go. And then this should be enough that uh, we should have weakened them to be able to hit them with one shot here. Ah, if I can actually hit them properly. Ah, you jerks. All right, one or two more of these guys out. And there's that one guy down. You know what? I'm only taking one of you. Just this guy. There we go. Beautiful. And that was four of those looters that we are taking. Oh, five of them that were taken captive. Beautiful. But we are grandly injured here. Grandly injured. All right, um, let's go to uh, Marinoth here and heal ourselves up. We got a 12 stack. Oh, you jerk. Are you serious? Why are we going so slowly? Uh, her negative four. Ah, <sighs> so let's uh, no, 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 no. Let's go to my crew. It's going to be. Overburdened is going to be the problem if we do that, then. Well, I guess we might. Hopefully, we'll just be able to pay these guys off because I don't think. Um, I can't fight you, dude. Um, you'll take that many. But if I give you this instead. You know what? Fine, fine. Just piss off, bro. And don't come after me again. What a jerk. I feel like I've been ripped off. That's what I feel. 
All right. They uh, people do want to come and join me, but we're still struggling here. All right. I think we're going to do a little bit of trading here. And uh, first off, let's see if there's anything that's a bit better for me. Nope. It's going to give me 200 bucks. Apparently, I'm a little bit overburdened still, but we should be able to actually use some of this to our advantage. Let's grab that 200 bucks. Let's wait here for a little bit and then do a little bit of smithing. Just to get our, you know, stealth back up here. Enter the smithy. We're good to go. Uh, we've got a little bit of ability here up to 30 grand. Get everything smelted. That's given us some resources. Let's see if there's any orders that I can do. I can do this one. So let's do that for the money. And I don't think I can do this one. No, I'm not ready for it yet. But let's see if there's a free build. One hand. There's still only the uh, one handed one there, which is a little unfortunate. So just do. Nope, I have stamina. Well, I think you guys on that point, I am going to leave this one here. I have a point to throw somewhere and something to put into horses, governed settlements, mounted troops have 10 percent more hit points. I think I'm going to do that one. Yes. And let's throw this last point into. Well, I'm going to throw it into smithing. This is going to be our early game money making. So to get that fully out probably makes a lot of sense. And uh, yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any thoughts or feelings on the series. Let me know if you have any uh, thoughts on who my maid Marion should be. We're not going to get there for a while, but that is a nice thing I need to actually think about. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Robin Hood Edition. Bye, everybody. Thank you.